level, we are more than the sum of our parts. Let's take a simple example. If you have one person and you add another, now you have two people. But these two people can interact and collaborate and achieve more than they could alone. In fact, the more people you add into this equation, the greater the opportunity for complexity and achievement. And we can use this for our advantage. Imagine that you're at a concert. I mean, first, it's different than listening to music at home. The environment and the atmosphere informs our behavior. Imagine pushing through a crowd, trying to get to the front. It's difficult because there's many people that are resisting you. But what if they didn't? What if they worked together to lift you on their hands and pass you over their heads? Well, this is actually similar to what happens inside a superconductor. You see, an electron by itself is just a particle with negative charge. Put two of them together, and they'll repel each other. But a collection of electrons interacting with each other and with the environment can become something different altogether. We call this emergent phenomena. Now, a superconductor is made of a repeated pattern of atoms. And at extremely low temperatures, electrons moving through the superconductor causes a slight ripple in the nearby atoms. And much like the hands of a crowd, this ripple can pull another electron along. As, as this process increases in frequency and becomes synchronized, what results is pairs of electrons that are able to move through the material with no loss whatsoever. Just imagine a current that keeps flowing forever, or cables that can uh, take a city sort of power from one place to another with no losses. The foundations for these technologies are already in place. The cost is just keeping them extremely, extremely cold. High temperature superconductors have also been discovered. But we've yet to understand the fundamental interactions that underlie this specific emergent phenomena. In my PhD thesis, I study this delicate interplay of interactions between electrons and this environment using a technique called time and angle resolved photoemission spectroscopy. You can think of it as a camera synced to a strobe light at a concert, capturing each tiny movement of the people in a still frame snapshot. I capture the motion of the electrons on time scales smaller than a trillionth of a second. By creating a movie, I can watch as electrons move from one state to another by a specific interaction. And by timing how long it takes for this transition to occur, I can accurately determine the strength of the interaction. Technology is getting smaller and smaller, and these effects increasingly uh, more relevant. In applying my special technique to the study of strongly interacting systems, I hope to understand how these microscopic interactions form different kinds of emergent phenomena, so that in working together, we can engineer these interactions into materials and devices and bring emergent phenomena like superconductivity into our everyday lives. Thank you.